in the previous presentation we were looking at then differential band break analysis so now what we'll do is we'll look at example four so in example four we are given a differential band break the left angle is given is 225 degrees the radius of the drum or the diameter of the drum is given as 350 mm the torque is given as 350 newton meter the coefficient of friction is given as 0 0.3 we are required to find force P and at the same time the distance OA such that the brake becomes self locking. So the schematic of the band brake will always be given to you. So in this case the drum is rotating clockwise. So from M the band is attached at O and from L the band is attached at A. So as the band as the drum rotates clockwise you will see that this band is pulled so this is your right side and naturally the other one becomes your slack side so let's draw a free body diagram so your force p is acting downwards so again that's p1 That's P2. So what we have is again remembering that the tension or the force always acts away from the place where it is attached to the lever. So in this case T1 is acting downwards, T2 is acting in that direction 90 degrees to the lever arm at O8. So this is your fulcrum which is given as O. So first convert the left angle that is given in degrees to radians. So this equals to 3.93 rates. So don't forget to put this down. Rates. And then we can get rid of tension ratio. So T1 over T2 is equal to exponential of theta. So the tension ratio is 3.25. The breaking torque was given as 350 newton meter so we know that your breaking torque is t1 minus t2 multiplied by the radius so t1 minus t2 is 2000 newtons this time around and we also know that t1 over t2 is 3.25 and t1 minus t2 is 2000 we can substitute and we can solve for t2 and t1 respectively so t2 is 888.89 whereas t1 is 2888.89 so what we do is we can solve for P quite easily now. We can do some of movements about point O. So P1 causes a clockwise moment, so it's negative. P also causes a moment clockwise, so it's a negative value. T2 will cause a moment about point O in the counterclockwise direction, so it's positive. So writing the equation, taking some of moments, so you end up with PL is equal to T2A minus T1B. So substitute value of t2 and t1 the distance a is over here which is o a distance a is o a t2 is acting at a distance o a from o whereas t2 is acting at a distance o b from o so these are the respective distances so o a is 150 and o b is 35 so this is the distance that i have put in over here so you get your force to be 64.44 newton and what we have is for self locking p is equal to zero so what we have is we know that o a the distance o to a is a so what we do is again we take some of moments about pointos we have the same equation coming up over here we have the same equation over here so for self locking we say that simply p is zero so this term becomes zero so you have t2 a is equals to p1b so we solve one for a which requires that the distance oa we are looking for so that oa is simply 114 mm so in this question it said the value of oa for the break to be self locking so oa is over so now the last part for this particular chapter is looking at the temperature rise. So the primary role of the brake is to absorb energy and 
dissipate the resulting heat without developing high temperature. So the heat dissipated the, by the brake depends on some uh, quantities, for example, the size and shape, the surface as well as the material. The increase in temperature of the brake causes the coefficient of friction to decrease. decrease which causes fading and fading affects the performance and effectiveness of the brake. So in order to dissipate this heat more rapidly the brakes are vented or equipped with fins and ribs. So this is different variations that we have. So we can see that the rotor over here has got uh, channels in them. So those are the veins. So what happens is as the car moves air is pass through these veins and what happens is once the brake is applied the plates move on towards the rotor to clamp it so as heat is generated the movement of this air removes the heat that is generated in the brake plates quite quickly so you've got your veins you've got your uh, holes that are cut in them you've got your fins and so on so these are the mechanisms that you can use to ensure that the brake plates are cooled down rapidly or lose heat and finally what happens is we had already looked at the energy transformation so when the brake is applied kinetic energy is converted to uh, heat energy and kinetic energy can be in form of two translation as well as rotation so what we have is for translation your kinetic energy is half mv squared whereas for rotation your kinetic energy is half i omega squared right where i is the moment of inertia and omega is your angular velocity and also in terms of potential energy your energy the potential energy is simply mg rate and what we do is we simply use uh, uh, phase law of thermodynamics transformation or trans transformation of heat from one form to the other so what we do is simply does that energy absorbed by the brake leads to increase in the temperature which can be simply calculated by the change in temperature is simply the energy absorbed by the brake divided by mcp m is the mass of the brake and cp is generally the heat capacity for instance for steel or cast time it is 500 joules per kg so this energy that you have over here it can be either kinetic energy or potential energy so calculate the energy that the system possesses and then simply equate it to mcp delta t you can solve for delta t make delta t the subject of formula and simply find the increase in temperature you can find the increase in temperature due to the energy that is absorbed so you can this equation helps us to understand that if you want to limit the change in temperature what we can do is we can either change the mass or simply change the material which will ultimately change the cp value of the so that's basically it for your chapter on bricks if you have any questions please do not hesitate to contact me uh, email me i have shared my alternative email address you've got my contact number and we've got a fiber group now so you can always get your queries queries clarified by me